We're going to have a gentleman next on stage. He comes from the world of cameras. In 2006, he became a board member of Konica Minolta Holdings in charge of corporate strategy and investor relations. In 2011, he became president of Konica Minolta Business Technologies. And in 2014, he was appointed president and CEO of Konica Minolta. Today, he is going to talk about innovation and he's going to tell us what it is all about. So please give a warm round of applause to the CEO and president of Konica Minolta, Mr. Shoei Yamana. I am delighted to have been invited back to speak again this year. It is a pleasure to be here, and I thank you all for coming. Today, we stand on the brink of a fourth industrial revolution, driven by the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics technologies. Now, more than ever, companies have to innovate to survive and thrive. My question today is a simple one. What should inspire that innovation? To my mind, before we talk about industrial revolution, we should be talking about social renovation. That means, first, pursuing innovation that creates social value by making human society smarter and people's lives richer. Second, it means pursuing innovation that focuses less on developing new products and more on solving customer problems in the digital workplace. Kanika Minolta is a global technology company operating B2B businesses in 150 countries worldwide. Experts in the technology of light, we develop cutting-edge devices from digital multifunction printers to diagnostic imaging units. Our core printing business continues to expand. However, in recent years, we have channeled our innovative resources into creating customer-centric solutions comprising devices and services for a digital networking society. A few years ago, we established five regional business innovation centers. The centers use global talent and expertise to develop agile solutions and services in close proximity to the market and in close cooperation with customers and local innovators. They explore advanced technologies and devise bespoke solutions to individual customer problems and maximize individual customer value. As a proponent of fluid problem-solving innovation, Kanika Minolta has developed a unique IoT strategy to help empower customers in the digital workplace. This strategy has 
two elements, building a superior cyber physical system to ensure accurate data collection and offering a unique mix of cloud and edge IoT technologies to support cost-effective decision-making. Kanika Minolta Cyber Physical System Channel useful information from the real world into meaningful cyber analysis and solutions provision by your superb input devices. We combine our particular expertise in light, image processing, sensing, and materials with cutting edge IoT technologies to create devices which combine images, video, and data into qualifiable parameters that are evaluated to offer new value. Some IoT greats, such as IBM and Google, have chosen to pursue digital innovation using cloud-based big data analysis. We have decided to adapt a different and somewhat unique strategy that combines cloud and intelligent edge IoT. Why? Koneka Minoruta has devices in over 2 million customer premises worldwide and many small and medium-sized businesses. Our intelligent edge IoT service model allows high-speed analysis and resolution of problems on-site by analyzing problem close to the data source, clients can maintain full control over their devices, their data, their decisions, and their own destiny. Let me give three examples of this IoT strategy in action. First, our new Workplace Hub offering announced here at CIBIT this year. The Workplace Hub is an IT-enabled platform located inside the workplace, connecting people, devices, and space to provide high-value services for the digital era. The Hub collects and analyze data on the spot to help customers to make the right decisions at the right time. The Workplace Hub platform can support diverse value-added services by connecting with other IT terminals and devices, wearable devices, and intelligent cameras. We are looking to build an open ecosystem to encourage broader applications. My second IoT example, monitoring solutions. We collect real-world information for cyber analysis using cutting-edge devices such as smart IP cameras, and our 3D rider, which screen a broader area at high resolution with no blind spots. We have various trial systems already in place. In the field of security, our remote supervision system for power stations and the remote facilities provides accurate surveillance. 
in all weathers and lighting conditions, eliminating the risk of misinformation or incomplete reporting. Another monitoring system helps safeguard society by visualizing potential gas leaks in agent gas plants, in marketing image analysis of consumer behavior in vehicle showrooms helps formulate effective sales strategies. Image monitoring is growing rapidly with potential application, limited only by our imagination. The third example of our IoT strategy involves the promotion of precision medicine for cancer treatment. We applied our expertise in photofilm to create fluorescent nanoparticles called PID. These new materials, when combined with deep learning, can accurately measure the type, location, and the volume of certain expressed proteins that manifest in cancer cells. It will allow for better grouping of cancer patients to ensure molecular target drugs are administrated only to those who will truly benefit and reduce side effects for patient. It also helps increasing success rates of clinical trials for new drug de development and arrest the sharp rise in the cost of medical care for both hospitals and government. I think you would agree. Three examples of IoT innovation illustrate a powerful combination of customer-centric approach, superior expertise, and digital technologies. However, today, much meaningful social innovation requires cooperation on a global scale and open ecosystems. I am passionate about this, especially regarding the environment. It is our job as problem-solving innovators to promote the shift from mass production, distribution, consumption, and disposable toward digital on-demand mass customization to help eliminate poor use of precious resources to contribute to circular economy by recycling waste. Kanika Minoruta openly shares its environmental expertise and includes suppliers and the customers in environmental action. I believe together we can achieve ambitious target for thrashing carbon emissions. The impetus to innovate is greater today than it has ever been. But if the IoT area is to generate truly good outcome. The inspiration for that innovation must focus on encouraging customer creativity and improving the quality of human society. IoT innovation is not simple about connecting more and more devices. It is about connecting people to intelligently analyze data 
to support attitude decisions and resolve problems. It is not a battle of scale. It is a battle of wisdom. But just because it's a battle doesn't mean we have to be on opposite sides or that someone or something have to lose. A digital connected world offers us genuine opportunity to combine our intellect and innovative talent for both industrial development and social good. We all want to be disruptors and victors in the fourth industrial revolution. We can do that if we work collectively as caring, sharing digital innovators. Thank you, Thank you, Shen. We've got time for about two questions. Yeah. Um, do you feel a sense of, I guess I would say, crisis and an urgent need to make radical changes oh. to your business approach? I mean, is there a problem? I feel a sense of crisis. Kanika Minorita has started off in camera film business in 2006. A global, since then, the global market of digital cameras has suffered a lot mm. by the release of smartphones mm -hmm. and reduced by 50% within three years. As you can see, the speed of development of the technology is increasing year by year. As a result, the life of the business is getting shorter and shorter. Uber is another example by external disruptor mm -hmm. just came in and entirely create new model. Except, yeah, the president so, just resigned. Yeah. So to stand, it is more important to stand forefront of the change. This year, save it, we announce Workplace Hub. It is IT-enabled new platform connecting everything, people, devices, spaces, to provide high-value services mm -hmm. for this area. That is exciting for our company and also exciting for our customers. I mean, we cannot predict future, but I believe we can build it. You talk about the future. Um, everyone is getting on the bandwagon of the fourth industrial revolution, the internet of things. I mean, you've got people, you've got companies that are rushing to turn AI, AR, and DL technologies into value-added services, right? What sets your company then apart from the others? Oh, I see. Three things. One, core technologies. Second, our precious customer base. Three, open innovation. The first, our core technology like light sensing, image processing, which make us to produce superior input devices. Then we can create value by assigning the useful so information, useful meaning to the collected image and data. We are really good at this. Mm -hmm. And the key point here is our unique strategy on edge IoT strategy, which enables yeah, us to sift the important things on the site, on the source, enables us to handle those things on site, mm -hmm. close to the course. So these things together, so we can make our value more higher. Then second point is a customer base. We have already two million customers, B2B business customers worldwide, and the service point worldwide. The third point is our approach to open innovation, our approach to open innovation. Five regional business centers, innovation centers, not only incorporate the best 
best technology things advances, but also develop our new services close to the market for customers. Those three things together makes our company set apart, set apart from the competition. And I believe that uh, the, we can, so from such foundation for our drive to the positive digital disruptor. Okay. Mr. Yamana, it's good to see you back on stage this year. Thanks for coming back. Just give him a warm round of applause, everybody.